what is going on everybody we're back on it house of the dragon episode four it's building it's building it's building you know each side is making their move with Kristen going out and everything um to the riverlands we're also in the riverlands <laughs> i feel like there's going to be a natural clash of positions here um now i'm sure that we'll get at least one episode this season of just straight battle you know kind of like um stannis trying to take over king's landing or battle of the bastards or you know you know the classic battle episodes that we get in game of thrones where it's like this specific episode from like press play to end is just straight battle I'm sure we'll get one of those, if not multiple of those. Maybe not full episodes, but at least like snippets of episodes, pieces. So I don't know if that's going to be this or if it's yet to come. I think the count is eight. I think we're counting at eight episodes. Um, so we'll be halfway done with the season after this. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Could be ten, maybe twelve, but I'm pretty sure it's eight. So I'm curious to see how it goes. Damon's tripping. Like he's seen visions and I don't know what connections he's got going, but you know whoever that girl is saying, you know, you're going to die in this place. I'm curious is like, I mean, surely he doesn't, however much longer he's a part of the story, whether it's this season or however many seasons they've written this show to be, he's not going to be stuck in here in all the rest of his days. Right. And I'm not saying he dies an old man here, but I'm saying like his cause to Rhaenyra, his strategic placement, like where he's doing his operating from and where maybe he ends up getting snuffed out from, is it going to be in Harrenhal? Does he never get back to Dragonstone or fly over King's Landing? Or is he never positioned anywhere else? And he just spends all his time like operating from Harrenhal until eventually he dies at Harrenhal. Not from old age, but just from battle. Um, or does he get out here and then there's another war, and there's another battle that circles itself back around to Harrenhal and he ends up dying there? I mean, she said it, so... <laughs> I don't know if he believes it, but us as a viewer, you've got to think that that means something. Um... I feel like when anybody has any type of like information like that, like Helena type, things tend to come true. So I don't know if he's going to be spending the rest of his days of this succession war in and around Harrenhal um, or kind of what that's hinting at. Um, and Rhaenyra met up with um, Alicent last episode. She finally got clarification on that. Alicent knows she messed up, but it's too far gone. It's not like. She got that information from the king who just died and hasn't told anybody like it. So much has been set into motion. People have already died on both sides. Um, so there's no going back. Um, she tried and that's where it was left off. So we'll see what we got. We will see what we got. It's the second time they brought in the young actress back. I'm, I'm assuming she was brought back for this season and this wasn't stuff they shot in season one when they had access to her, right? Oh, shit. That's not good foreshadowing. Or imagery at all. <laughs> but can he, can this young heir make any decisions or what? Grandfather. Agreed. They, they're they not making any decisions over here. It is. I mean, I feel I feel bad for the kid that he's having to be thrust in that position. But it's a pointless conversation. If this kid is nothing but a mouthpiece and he's not making any decisions or doing anything with the words and he's just here to hear things and take it back, it's, it's a way. I'm pressed for time and I got to go. So unless the old man can get himself here. Or we can, like he said, put a pillow over his head. Then this is a. I don't need to be here. You did not think about me. I did not think about you. Is that a bat? Is that a bastard son of his? Is he? Is that a bastard kid? What is? What? What is that? This Grand Maester has been the only one with like a level head that hasn't been plotting until I say that he's probably coming here plotting. I feel like this Grand Maester has been the only like decent character, you know? 
like Lord Strong was, but yeah, see, Allison recognizes it. Correct, correct. He's been great, and the, I'm guessing she's been taking these teas on a regular basis just to make sure she has been getting pregnant by Sir Kristen. She's over here popping this shit like it's candy on a regular basis, saying it's for witch girls. I don't know, but yeah, I'm assuming that's what she's doing. Awesome, awesome. She doesn't have a hand, actually, now that I think about it. Rhaenyra needs to... Rhaenyra needs to... There we go. Damn it, I've been saying this. Corliss needs to get his ass in here. He's the only voice that has any weight here. Ever. The only one. Damn it, he's just letting her... He's just letting that council just eat, 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 eat up. He's got to get in here. He's the only one that has any weight, any bass in his voice. Damn. Kristen's, I feel like he's going to have a great, like, great, a great viewing death. <laughs> Not a great death for him, but yeah. Yeah, this is going to you. Not his king, by the way. This is going... <laughs> the council is just... Hmm? 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 Are you king or are you not? Hey, you... You fucking did this, sent Otto away, making these decisions, doing this, doing that again. I can't, like... What you want, man? What do you want? This is the second time she's had this conversation with somebody this episode. She asked the maester, did he think Viserys, like, why would have chose Aegon? And now this guy's asking. He said never think of Viserys' intentions without wisdom. That's the first time she's actually said something, like, straight up and truthful right there. And he doesn't have a crazy little finger comeback, too. That was a straight up response. And we all acknowledge that, even him. Didn't he not even want to eat the peas that everybody else was eating in front of him? And now you see her over here mixing the wildest shit and you're just going to drink it? Oh my god. He is going through it. I wonder if he ever does leave this castle. Yeah, he's, feel he's, not, he's not of use. Yeah, he's just over it. He's over it. I feel like he's going to do something rash because he feels like he's not doing anything as king, you know. He's going to make a decision, send people somewhere, take a dragon somewhere that shouldn't be, and it's just going to be a... Yeah, it's going to be bad. I do have to sacrifice something quickly on that throne. He didn't want this either. He didn't want it. Then he bought into it. And now he's realizing, like, what, what was the point of it all, you know? He's over it. The same way that they said Aegon, Aegon couldn't go. So send Rhaenys. You must send me yes. But God, that sounds risky. I will need to go. Because I feel like Princess Rhaenys could could die at any moment like in across this se this season next season like her character could fall at any moment right if you send Rhaenyra I feel like it's like sending Daenerys into battle on a dragon it's like okay we know Daenerys as like essentially one of the main characters of the entire Game of Thrones is not going to die when she goes out there to battle you know so it's like okay she's gonna go out there fuck shit up yeah get on your dragon kill him kill him so if you send Rhaenyra here, that's my thought process. Like, oh, she's going to go out there and fuck shit up. Like, word's going to spread. Like, oh, she's not playing around. The queen herself is out there flying around on her dragon, sniffing out enemy lines and war camps and all these other things. If you send Rhaenys, though, I feel like at any given point, she could be taken out. Because she's not crucial to the story. She's a she's one of the higher up characters, but now that has me worried that 
Aegon is going to go out there on his dragon because he feels like he's not doing anything. No one's listening to him. Your claim it has passed from the Song of Ice and Fire? Since Aegon conquered... He is going out. Oh, shit. They're going to run into each other out there, dragon on dragon. Fuck. And then here's the thing. The same argument I just made of why if Rhaenyra went out there, she's not going to die. Because she's the main one on the side of Blacks. I feel like if he goes out there, he is also like plot immune. Because he's the main character on the side of the green. I feel like she might die here, no? I'm worried Rhaenyra goes out. If Princess Rhaenys dies here. I feel like she fucks shit up. Like, oh my god, it looks like we're doing great. And then King Aegon comes in and just flips the battle dragon for a dragon <laughs> of course they're sending out all the people that they just conquered they're not sending their like main forces because why would you so all the fodder that they just acquired along the way are getting taken out oh shit they are <sighs> Oh my god, this is such a mess. This is such a mess. So they planned for this. A yeah, Aegon is the wild random card here. But they're on he's not a third party though. He is here for their side, but Is this the first proper battle of dragons we've ever had? Where'd she go? I think this might be the first proper battle of dragons we've ever had, no? I wouldn't count last season's as it. Oh, bitch. I wouldn't count last season's as a proper battle, and I wouldn't count... Oh, bitch! And I wouldn't count anything in the Game of Thrones as such. Golly! Oh, I was about to say, no way she falls down. Oh, lord! And you want to talk about dragon size? That dragon couldn't even keep up size. Oh, bitch! Ugh. You gotta go. You gotta get out. You fucked up that dragon a lot. You gotta leave. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You can outspeed him. Sweet Jesus Christ Almighty. Damon. <laughs> Damon, bro. We need help. Help. It's gonna be dragons just throwing hands at this point. Girl, you see him, right? You see him? Do you see him? No, she doesn't. Now she does. Now she does. Now she does. And her dragon got bit. We gotta move. Disengage! Sunfire? GG, bro. Sunfire's done. Yo, Rainice, we gotta go. Sunfire's gotten fucked up. Oh, we hit the ground that time. You can't, you can't. Granted, though, I understand Vagar's big and bad, but that's a big, that's a big slow Huh? She's not willingly going back in when she got out. That's a big slow bitch, no? Are we going back in? You got out. That's gonna be some shit. Help. Somebody help. We're quicker. We're quicker and shiftier, bro. We're trying! We're trying! Jesus! The size difference is crazy because Melise was so much bigger than Sunfire, and Vagar is so much bigger than Melise. If we hit the ground, we're toast. Oh shit, get fucked, Vagar. Girl, you gotta go. Just just take that as a victory. Like, you got a good hit in. Let's look. Is that the end? Hello? Okay. Guys, you, we're both acknowledging it. Like, hey, I'm hurt. You're hurt. Do we do this? Like, do we really... She's going back in. Fucking hell. Shit. Yep. 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 Oh! That's it. 
That's it. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, I knew as soon as she said she was the one to go, I knew it. And you lose a dragon. One of your best. Some would say your best dragon. You want to make a case for Damon's or hers? Sure. Some would say your best dragon, though. To, like, seduce at the end of last season. Like, the second biggest one that didn't have a rider that was just kind of hanging out. Do we know whose that was? That wasn't a dragon, but do we know the name of that dragon and where that dragon is currently at? How fucked up is he? Is he alive? Is... I can't tell. I see his body, but I can't tell the state of it. Can we get a closer look? What? So their king died. And now Aemon's king. Or they have a... He had another younger daughter? I think I need to go back and look at that shot. I need to go back and look at that shot. I couldn't tell shit from that. He doesn't... I mean, he's just there laid out. I, I can't tell how bad that is or isn't. Like, the best shot we get is, like, right there. That's it. And I can't tell at all. He doesn't look, like, overly burnt. He's not, like, missing half of his body. He's just there. So that's going to be interesting um, as far as is he good or is he not? <laughs> I mean, surely, you know, he's going to have sustained some injuries, but guts fucked. It's such a major loss. It's, I mean, I called that shit as soon as I knew Rhaenys was going out there. Prime just fodder. Prime fodder. Um, and it went pretty much how you would expect to go. She shows up. The side that's getting pushed back that doesn't have the numbers, you know, feels confident. You see the high tower side, like Kristen Cole. We told you not to do this. Look, you got us out here. We're gonna get fucked up. They had a plan. I didn't know that they had a plan of Aemon there, but I figured Aegon with Job with the dragon, and I figured if those two were to battle, but that battle wasn't even close. I mean, Sunfire's not even trying. And I don't want to say like it's still a dragon, but like, has Sunfire ever seen combat in his life? Has Aegon ever seen combat in his life? No. Um, Vagar shows up and just fucks shit up. Now, honestly, though, she was giving Vagar hands. I'm not gonna lie. Again, I don't know how you can, how you miss her. Someone just loses sight of Vagar again and gets caught slipping. The biggest dragon this side of the Mississippi, um, this side of the Narrow Sea, gets sneaks up on somebody again. I mean, she was scanning above, below, like, Rainey's had her head on a swivel, and of course she comes over the, the top side of the, the, the castle or the keep and just swoops out and takes her out. I mean, Corliss is all alone now. I'm assuming Sir Lenor doesn't have a part to play again in this story. I'm assuming, like, he's just done. His dragon roams the lands riderless, and I, I just assume he's never going to come back in the story, I would assume. Um, so... His son has been murdered in front of, in his own house, he thinks. Daughter, dead. Um, heir to his throne, his illegitimate or legitimate son, dead. So what was it? Murdered, murdered, died in childbearing, and then his wife, murdered. Um, yeah, because I'm going to assume she does not survive that fall. Um, one would assume. Now, there's always a chance. I mean, he just survived that fall, but again, it was a little bit shorter of a fall. Fell into some trees. We'll, we'll see. Sunfire's toast, though, so... I'm going to assume that Rhaenys is dead. It's unfortunate, because she was... And I think that's it. That's for a lot of people. She's a, It's a very, like, easy-to-like character. You know, she had moral ground. You know, she plotted and tried to do things, but, like, who doesn't? You know, unless you're, like, Ned Stark himself. <laughs> or the maester here or like maybe Jon Snow or Lord Strong most people they're trying but some do it with like within the realm of understanding like 
oh, I'm going to try to position and marry my kid off or put my kid in this situation to be heir to this. But like she wasn't backstabbing, murdering and getting people poisoned and doing this and doing that. And she could have had a chance to end it all. And she didn't. And but she was definitely one of the more. If I had to like list characters that she probably was in the top five characters that we've gotten from season one and season two, I would say. And I'm going to assume she's dead. Her dragon's definitely dead. That's just such a bit. Oh, man, that's fucked. I guess you don't expect them to have a dragon in waiting. Um, because looking back on it in hindsight, it's like, that's so fucked to send her out there solo, dragon or not. It's just so knowing, and I think you have to go with that going forward, knowing how much of an issue Vagar is, I don't give a damn if you're Rhaenys on probably your best battle tested dragon or Daemon or whatever. I just don't think you can send these dragons out there solo. You just can't. Even if there, there's been no, you've gotten no word or ravens or sightings of Vagar in weeks or anything like that. You just can't take the chance. Um, you cannot send a dragon out there solo, period, in my opinion. You're just asking to lose a dragon. Now you could say, well, if you send two, he's going to take two out. Well, you got a better chance at that point. In my opinion, I wouldn't send anybody out there solo. And to be honest, if it wasn't Rhaenys paired with somebody else or Damon paired with somebody else... None of the dragons are going out, to be honest. Unless we have confirmed sighting that, like, Vagar is, like, on the other side of Westeros. I just, I don't know. You gotta come up with something, and I don't know who's gonna plot that for her. And now the only, like, base in her council, the only voice that had anything to it. Rhaenys was one, but they still didn't fully listen to her. Corlys is gonna be shot mentally, so, like, what are what is his decision making now? I don't know. It's a mess. And did they just plot? They didn't plot to lure Aegon out there, but Aegon... Aegon did bring himself out there. Now, is he dead, too? Is Aemon now king? I don't know. We, we will, I'm interested to see what happens when word gets back to Rhaenyra. And I'd also be interested to see that when word gets to Daemon. Um, so we'll see. I hope she's not dead, but I'm... If I had to bet money on it, I'm going to assume that Rhaenys is dead, and that's the last we see of her. They gave her and that dragon... They gave her and her dragon a last little moment there, and... She kept swooping back in. She had multiple times she could have left. She did damage. She could have gotten out. You know. Um, but we'll leave it there and see. Appreciate it, everybody. A like, share, subscribe, and as always.